Hey guys, Richard Fu here from The Ultimate Man and RichardFu.com, the place to be for authenticity, love, and courage. And today, I want to talk about why it's not enough to just come first. It's not enough to just be first. And I, I want to talk about this because I was talking to one of my awesome friends again, Andy Gordon. Mention, shout out to Andy Gordon. Make sure you check him out from the Limit, Limitless Lifestyle. He's an amazing guy. And we have our weekly chats and we we're talking about something interesting here today. It's like, you know, if you really want something, if you really want to go and have something in your life, if you want that girl, you want that guy, you want that business, you want that property, you want that financial freedom, then you got to be the first one to go get it, right? You have to be the first one. When I say first one, you don't have to be the first person to ever do it. It's, you have to be first. You have to be the first one to put yourself out there to go do it. You have to be the person who puts himself out there to go talk to that girl, to go talk to that guy, to go out there, to be the first person to ask for that sale if you're trying to build a business, to ask for the property that you want, if, you, if that's what you want. And we're talking about that is that so many people are always sitting back, ugh, waiting, waiting, waiting even though I don't have a watch on, I'm pretending I'm looking at, I got a watch, waiting until someone else will actually give it to them, right? And this is the same with, especially we were talking about business building and, you know, it's about relationships, even dating, right? You, you know, we can wait until the person comes and approaches us or we can go out there and put ourselves out there and, and open ourselves up. For example, Right? Online dating, you could wait until the other person messages you first or you go out there and you say hi and you go out there and you open the floodgates first. You open a little bit of who you are first so that they can get to know you, trust you, like you and all these other things and that's in business. But the reason why I want to say this is that I said at the start of the video is that it's not enough to be first and I believe this is true because this is the truth here and make sure you listening because this is really important is that how many of us, how many of you, right, watching here, have gone out and you've done something, right? You put it out for one time, you, you finally did it, you did, you stepped in first, and then that was it. That was it. Where maybe the first time you went out and, and asked the girl out. The first time you did it, done, 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 I'm done. And she rejected you, and then that's it, you stop, right? Or that first time you got up, right, and you actually started building your business, you asked for that sale, and you got rejected. And do you stop? Some people do. Some people do. And this is an example I want to talk about here is like, you know, as we're going into Singapore, is that I have to go ask for a lot of things. I have to go ask these groups to meet more people so that I can talk to people, so that I can help people and spread that message out. And I asked 15 groups, yeah, on Meetup, would you like me to come talk? And this is a good marketing ploy if you're watching as well, is that I did that and, you know, two message me back, two message me back saying, okay, Richard, let's talk. And so there's another 13 out there and I, I left and I'm like, oh, look, I did it, I tried, I tried, I did it, I did my first, I went first and they didn't respond to me, so I guess that's over. But then a week later, I sat there and I looked at it and I'm like, I gotta make this happen, I gotta make this work. So what did I do, right? I went ahead and I went for it and I messaged all 13 people again, right? Saying, hey, just following up, did you get that last email? And, you know, wanted to discuss more about that. Then another four more people, four more people from that 13 said, okay, Richard, let's talk more. When you get into Singapore, we'll have coffee or whatever, right? And this is opening the doorways, right? So that's the second time I did it. And just today, after our chat, right? After we had our chat, I thought about it again. It's been another week and I'm like, hmm, what about the, you know, let's say nine groups, right? If we did the maths, the other nine groups, what happens if they didn't respond? All right, I'm gonna email them again, right? I'm gonna message them again. And I messaged those nine people and then another four more after that messaged me back saying, look, Richard, no, or hey, Richard, yes. How talk, tell me more about this, tell me more about that. And now I've got coffees lined up. I've got events lined up with all these people's groups to that took three efforts, right? Three times I had to go first. It wasn't just first, it wasn't just second, it wasn't third. And maybe I might not even do a fourth run. But this is the whole point here is you can't just be first. You can't be the first one to step in and open yourself up. You have to be the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. You have to do that because sometimes the first isn't enough. The first kind of scares people off. 
then you do it a second time, you do it again, then more people are receptive to it because then they understand it. The third time you do it, you know, you do it better. Maybe you do it better. And that's a real key here is that in life, in business, it's not, you know, just about going first. Yes, we can go first and we wait for the other person to respond. Sometimes they're not ready to respond. So then maybe we need to open a little bit more. Maybe we need to go in again and start that conversation again and see what happens. And that's what I want to ask you here today on this show here, guys, is if you've only done something once and you quit, right? What's one thing you could do? Try again to try again and try again. To not just be the first one, let's be the second one, be the third one, be the fourth one, be the fifth one. There, and see what happens, and really see what happens. See, because for me, those first 13 people that did not respond, I didn't take that as a no. Initially I did, initially I did. Initially I'm like, oh my God, I got rejected, right? They didn't want it. But how many of you get an email? How many of you get a message, but you don't respond immediately? But that's not rejection, it's just because life gets busy. Life gets busy and this isn't a high priority and that's okay. And sometimes they just need a little nudge to say, hey, did you get that? Hey, did, I know you might be busy, but what do you think? So that's what I wanna ask you. What can you nudge a little today that will help you move forward in your life, in your business? You know, I mean, is it to go and talk to five strangers, right? Because you are looking for a partner. Is it to do that? Is it to go and email five people that never responded to your offer for your business? Think about it, think about it. So that's what I wanna leave here today with you guys. And this takes a lot of resilience. This takes a lot of courage, a lot of strengthening for your mindset. And so if you're serious about that, head on over to richardfu.com to learn more. We're gonna have a webinar very soon and I hope to see you on there because it's so important that we master this because this is what life is about. It's about go, getting up, going again and again and again and again and again. So that's what I want to share here with you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed sharing with you. Remember, guys, to go out there, go live with love and go smash it. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye. When are you going to step out of your shell? When are you going to be prepared to get out of your shell so that you can get into life? That shell has been holding you back. That shell could be that you don't have enough money. That shell could be that all you know is a corporate career even though you don't